If you want to learn more about the M-Water portal or solstice, the Resource Center is the best place to go. In this video I'll show you how to get to the Resource Center, what you can find there, and how you can use it to learn more about the platforms and also about collecting data, managing it and reporting it. So let's get started. I'm here at the mWater portal, portal.mwater.co, and I can always get to the Resource Center by clicking the Help option here on the top nav bar. If I click it, I get to portal.mwater.co slash hash slash resource center. And this is the page where we compile all of our guidance relating to both of the platforms, actually. So not only uh, are mWater and Solstice totally free for you to use, also the guidance we create is freely available for you to explore and learn. So what do we have here in the Resource Center? There are two main areas to pay attention to. The left side has the contents. When you first come here, you see um, various articles of interest that introduce you to the platform, and answer um, frequently asked questions, give you some introductory videos. It's a perfect place to just begin. Um, on the right side, we have the table of contents, which you can search by name and by keyword, and we'll return to that. But let's take a closer look at the landing page to the resource center. Here you have a set of videos. If you have 15 minutes to spare, I strongly recommend watching these videos to get a sense of what's possible in mWater. Perhaps you've been using it a little bit already. This can give you an idea of the kinds of things you can do. You can also read about the background and history and ambitions of our portals and platforms here. And you can start looking at training materials as well as our frequently asked questions and various important policies. You can also keep track of our new features um, that we release all the time. Now, if we move over to how we have structured our training guidance, our guidance materials, you will see that we've split them between the portal where the majority of the complicated data related things happen, as well as the app or the surveyor where data collection updates and responses happen. So let's take a look at this split. We have plan, where the planning phase involves establishing the objectives of your data-driven process, creating surveys and preparing devices to be able to do field data collection. The train phase provides the data managers, collectors and consumers with the capacity they need to use the mWater portal and surveyors. So you'll find in the train section, you'll find materials on how to improve capacity. Deploy is where roles and permissions are established and we have a number of guides for that. Collection happens in the app where data collectors use the surveyor to fill in survey responses and create sites. Update them if they're revisiting the same site again and receive notifications on their device, informing them of various things, such as survey assignments or issues. Once data collection has happened, the cleaning phase involves survey and site data review and approvals, and visualization of systematic data errors for correction. So this is where the data really gets made valuable and made sure that it's, it's of good quality. And finally, we get to key phase of reporting where mWater and Solstice provide you with tools to visualize uh, everything that you're collecting, including interactive maps, charts, calendars, summaries, and tables. And then, to, uh, based on what you decide, you can share these in various formats, including live websites, uh, PDF import, exports, and Excel and CSV. Finally, at the bottom of our landing page to the Resource Center, we have a number of case studies that can give you an idea of how people are already using the platform. So 
This is the overall structure of our main guidance. You can also find the different sections here on the right side. So you can see the key documents, introductory documents and policies, but most importantly you find the corresponding segments to plan, train, deploy, collect, clean and report here in the table of contents. And now by clicking a segment, let's say first of all here in the plan, I can navigate to that document and start studying and learning with our comprehensive guidance that has images, screenshots and videos where appropriate. I can go this through this systematically to learn as much as possible about the platform or I can come to the resource center with a specific task in mind. Let's say I want to understand survey deployments better, I can navigate to survey deployments here and then just study up on this key feature of the platform. Next, if I don't quite know what I'm looking for, or I can't uh, see it in the, in the names of the articles, I can also search by keyword. So let's say water points or password. If I've forgotten my password, I can find um, answers right here. So you can use the search bar very effectively to find help on the topic you're interested in. Case studies give you an idea of how others are already using the platform and how you can use it as well. For example, for water quality monitoring or emergency response. We have a list of feature updates that you can keep track of through the resource center and learn more about or by following the change log. Finally, the Resource Center contains uh, troubleshooting guides for common issues that users face. So you can independently resolve these issues. We're constantly adding new materials to the Resource Center and we'll tweet about it and post about it on Facebook. Uh, moreover, if you are ever stuck in mWater, feel free to submit a problem report or contact problems at mwater.co or info at mwater.co um, and the equivalent Solstice emails. You can s always submit a problem report through the portal by selecting your account and then selecting report a problem where you can describe the problem, what you're expecting to see and, and what you're seeing instead. And we will get back to you rapidly. Note also that you can translate the portal to your own language by using Google Chrome's automatic translation options and um, you can find a video on this on our channel as well. Now hopefully this clarifies how to get to the resource center and what it is helpful for. You can always also get in touch with mWater to learn more about our training options to make sure that your organization gets the absolute most out of the many features that our platforms provide. Okay, happy learning. Thank you very much.